with the hunter-gatherers of Britain after the last ice age. During the last ice age, most of Britain was covered in sheets of ice. Around 12,000 years ago, after the Younger Dryas period, um, which was a return to glacial conditions, the climate finally warmed and ice melted for good. Over the millennia, hunter-gatherers started moving back into Britain. But who were these people? This is Cheddar Man, who lived around 10,000 years ago and is the oldest almost complete skeleton of our species, Homo sapiens, ever found in Britain. He was found in the early 1900s in Goff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, a limestone gorge in Somerset, England, close to the village of Cheddar. It seems that during the Mesolithic period, caves played an important role, um, a spiritual role in society, and served as a burial ground for many. One interesting aspect of Cheddar Man is that it has the genetic markers of skin pigmentation that is usually associated with Sub-Saharan Africa, with this being pretty common and pretty consistent with other findings across Europe from the Mesolithic period. It seems that during that time in Europe, during the Mesolithic period, most people had dark skin and pale eyes, blue or green, as well as dark brown hair. It seems that pale eyes entered Europe long before pale skin and blonde hair, which coincided with the arrival of farming in Britain. For reference, the culture of farming is thought to have arrived in Britain around 6,000 years ago, marking the beginning of the Neolithic period. But back to Cheddar Man. He was a Mesolithic hunter-gatherer, fully modern human, and was around 166 centimetres tall, or 5 foot 5. He died in his 20s. He does have a hole in his forehead, perhaps due to an infection, or it may have been damaged from the excavation. Ironically, considering Cheddar Man gets his name from the village in Somerset called Cheddar, where Cheddar Cheese gets his name from. Cheddar Man was lactose intolerant and was unable to digest milk as an adult, which was common across Europe at that point. Cheddar Man's diet would have consisted of lots of nuts and seeds, as well as game, such as red deer and wild cattle, as well as freshwater fish. Modern British people share about 10% of their DNA um, with the people Cheddar Man belong to, although they aren't direct descendants. Current thinking suggests that there was a large migration into Britain with the arrival of farming around 6,000 years ago. Starcar is an important Mesolithic settlement in North Yorkshire that predates Cheddar Man by around 1,000 years. Archaeologists have uncovered red deer skull caps, which may have been worn as headdresses. Carved and decorated barbed points have also been found. Mesolithic hunter-gatherers hunted a wide range of wild game, including red deer and elk. They also hunted smaller animals such as beavers and water birds. It is thought there were strict rules about how you disposed of bones and carcasses after killing, um, as well as the weapons used for killing those animals. Archaeologists who studied a Mesolithic settlement in North Yorkshire also found that these hunter-gatherers of the Mesolithic period, that they manipulated the wild plant species that were found around the lake in which they lived. Hunter-gatherers of the Mesolithic period were probably much more advanced than we give them credit for, having a clear mastery of the seasons, hunting techniques, as well as foraging and other key skills um, crucial for their survival. Farming soon followed, however, but this will be the subject of a future video. Speaking of the history of Britain, what is the genetic history of the British Isles? To find out, please click here, and I'll also link above um, the genetic history of Ireland as well, which I made a separate video on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell and tell your friends and family about this channel. For ways to support this channel, um, all the links will be in the description below. Um, there's Patreon, buymeacoffee.com, um, PayPal. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.